Here you can see a nice wide view of the backyard and the overall route that the piping took to the back of the property. And we've gone through and backfilled the trench that was there and then compacted it down with the backhoe all the way to the back of the property. And he did a good job leveling all this out and it turned out really nice and smooth. So the next several pictures here are going to just see us moving towards the back of the property until we get to the final stub out. Here we are just moving back towards the entrance into the wooded area. It's all flattened out here, just more of the same situation where we've backfilled the trench, gone over it with the backhoe, and then just leveling out and making sure everything is running just well. Here's a closer look as we get closer to the wooded area. And if you look real closely to where the path is, you can see one of the stub outs there that is sticking out of the ground and uh, is functioning correctly. One of the things we also did prior to backfilling everything is we did a test of the water to make sure there were no leaks. So from the house we flushed toilets, ran spigots, and ran faucets for a few minutes just to make sure there were no leaks in the piping. And during that test everything worked out quite well. More of the same here, moving back towards the rear of the property. The path is clearly defined and you can see another stub out there in the middle of the screen and the tracks from the backhoe where everything is being leveled out and smooth all the way back to the city tie-in. Here's a shot looking back from the city stub out towards the house and you can see the backhoe way in the background there and it just shows the distance that the piping was laid down and the good job he did filling in the trench with the dirt that was displaced earlier. Another picture here of walking back towards the house at the entranceway to the wooded area. The stub out for the city sewers behind me of course but just another view here showing how long the route was to get the piping all the way back to the city sewer. And then one final look back towards the path that the piping took to the back of the house. Again, if I had to make an estimate, probably 185 feet, 200 feet from the back of the house to the stub out. And again, everything just worked out really nicely. Here's a panoramic view of the backyard from the left side of the property. And it really shows the path really well that was taken from the rear of the house into the woods to the stub out and the good job that the plumber did to level out the area where the piping was. Here's a panoramic view from the other side showing the clear path that the piping took back to the wooded area and then back to the main sewer line. You can see that the plumber did a really good job with his backhoe, backfilling the trench, leveling it out, and just really happy with the way everything turned out. As I said before, 10 hours on the whole job and a good day's worth of work. So with that, we are going to close this one out, the entire series that is, and then move on to the next project. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.